The MSBA was formulated after a four-year moratorium, and the moratorium came in place because um, there was questions about how communities were funded. And um, in part, it was related to the fact that um, the process was that a community needed to bond the entire project up front and then eventually get paid back by the state. It's a, it's a benefit for the community to not have to bond and pay all that interest on something for so long. So instead, every step of the way that a community writes a check, the MSBA also writes a check. If you imagine all the need across the Commonwealth and the fact that there's a finite bucket of money each year, I believe um, that the authority has put in place these various caps and or limits or requirements that we can talk about um, uh, in order to, uh, this, is a, this is my catchphrase, to spread the wealth around. Mm -hmm. So they're trying to come up with some level of equality across, um, across districts uh, with how much money you do get and what is funded and what isn't funded. A really good example of this is the cap on site development. They have an 8% cap, with 8% is on the cost of the building aspect of the project. You, you could be a community with, similar to Arlington, where you have a lot of grade changes between, between over, over the course of the site, and you might need to construct uh, retaining walls. They cost money. Um, I'm a school somewhere else that's flat site. I don't have the cost of retaining walls. Um, so I'm not going to get money for that. So, so there's different variables on a site that can drive those costs. MSBA is sort of saying, well, we understand you have those costs, but they're particular to your project. And we're trying to fund all of these projects. And that's where that cap has come from. So um, some of the other um, caps or limits on um, what is funded, one of, probably one of the major ones, is the cost per square foot, construction cost per square foot. And um, for instance, at the moment, MSBA's construction cost per square foot is $333 a square foot. Um, I can't speak to every single corner of the Commonwealth, but certainly in the Boston region. Um, that is not what the cost per square foot is. Um, so if you imagine, if we use just round numbers, the difference between 330 and 430, every square foot that you're designing, $100 of that is not being reimbursed by MSBA, um, which would mean that it's entirely a cost borne on the community. And so there is, there is that, that piece, I think, is probably one of the highest numbers that really affects your reimbursement rate or your perceived reimbursement rate. The existing um, school property has the high school. It has a preschool, an inclusive um, preschool that um, is for special ed. Um, it also has um, the school district administrative offices. It has town facilities. It has the town IT system and a couple other random offices, um, the comptroller being one. Of those that I just listed that are beyond the high school, the preschool program, again, as a special education program, will be included as part of the funding um, of the project. Um, all others will not. A big topic in town had been the swimming pool. Um, before we even got started on the project, it was talked about. And while no one's arguing that there's not a need for a swimming pool in town, that, that's, not, that's not really part of the debate, um, it, is, it is an aspect that MSBA would not allow. Um, so it's different from just saying they wouldn't fund. This, in fact, they would not allow. They're not making a judgment that the town doesn't need a pool. They're not even making the judgment that the school site couldn't have a pool on it somewhere else. They're saying it cannot be connected and funded in the same time, same project as the high school project. Um, that also goes for a field house. They do not fund field houses, and they also do not allow you to build one in association with the school. And one other sort of distinct area that's certainly been talked a lot about in town is um, the size of the auditorium, meaning how many seats can be in the auditorium. And MSBA um, funds, financially supports with their reimbursement dollars, 750 seats. 
if, as a maximum. If the community would like to go over that, up to 1,000 seats, they can. And again, it will be separated out and be paid for 100% by the community. Um, if they want to be greater than 1,000 seats, it's actually not allowed. Um, so again, there's, there's these lines between what's, what's funded, how much of it's funded, what's allowed but funded by you, and what's not allowed at all. We're at a stage in Arlington right now on the Arlington High School project of not knowing exactly what of the educational program that has been developed by the school district and administration and with, in conjunction with the school committee and the school building committee, a lot of, a lot of hands involved, um, what will be approved. So we don't have those answers right now, um, but I think that we'll, we'll find out soon and we'll be able to parse that out and explain to people what's included and what's not in terms of funding. Mm -hmm.